Hey, Kyle, was your uh, first game back just as you envisioned it or what jumped out to you that was a little bit different? Uh, you know, it's definitely special. Uh, you know, I, I feel like that, um, you know, I just wanted to go out. My, my time here, I just wanted to go out there and play as hard as I can. And, uh, you know, I don't feel like I was anything special, um, anything like that. But for them to go ahead and do that, that it was uh, really nice. And it meant a lot and definitely a little, uh, little nervous there on that first bat. And, uh, you know, but it was very nice, uh, very nice to them. And uh, thank you to the, uh, to the fans and uh, to the organization there for doing that. Did you have any, like, cool fan interactions or just anyone yell anything memorable to you, positive? that you can share when you were in the, when you were in the outfield today. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, it was nice, you know, uh, just, uh, there were a lot, a lot of love yous and things like that. And, um, you know, I mean, me, me as a player, you know, I, I'm just going to go out there and play hard, you know, that, that's who I am. And, um, you know, if uh, I'm not going to leave any doubts in, in terms of, uh, effort or anything like that. And uh, I felt like, uh, you know, this fan base was very receptive to that. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping that the Nationals fan base will be receptive to that, too. And uh, knowing that I'm just going to go out there and uh, mow it on the line. And uh, because at the end of the day, I got to look myself in the mirror. And um, it was uh, it was nice today. Justin Dockerty, Washington Post. Kyle, you mentioned some nerves there for your first at bat. Does it does it calm down after that, or does it just feel still feel a bit weird for most of the night? No, it, it calms down after that. It, it definitely does. You know, you, it's like once you you know once you get in the batter's box and you kind of get over it. It's just a baseball game, and uh, you're going out there and, and swinging it and uh, playing defense behind the uh, behind our pitcher. So uh, definitely slowed down after that. Uh, you know, but still was. Uh, you know, it, it wanted to walk away with the win tonight, you know, but on it, we weren't, uh, we weren't able to, uh, good defense play there at the, uh, in a big spot there in the eighth, uh, changed the complexion of the game, but, uh, you know, it is what it is and move on to tomorrow. Can you walk us through what it felt like, uh, to Homer in your, in your first game back here? Just that, that moment circle in the base. Yeah, you know, uh, definitely felt good. Uh, you know, to, to put it in that spot and uh, move it to a one-run game there, uh, get the momentum back on our side. Uh, it felt good. Uh, you know, obviously, um, you against your former team and, uh, you know, being, uh, you know, being BFA'd in that spot and uh, going out there and, and putting in a, a big hit there in the, in the moment felt good. Thank you. Andy Martinez, Marquis Sports. Kyle, um, building off of that, um, what was your, your reaction when they threw the ball back and, and getting that ball? I know I saw, saw some smiles in the dugout there. Yeah, I was like, they threw it back? But, uh, you know, I was able to get the ball, and uh, I'm going to get authenticated and uh, definitely keep that as a keepsake. Uh, definitely uh, a special moment here uh, for myself, just being able to uh, – like I said, get get that hit in that moment, and uh, you know, kind of bring back some momentum on, on our side. But you know, at the end of the day, we didn't get it done. But uh, you know, definitely keep that as a nice little keepsake. And then going uh, another one up for me, just uh, that interaction with Anthony Rizzo on the eighth inning. Um, is there anything you could share that you guys? Uh, I mean, there were some smiles there too. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, I, it was more just catching up, and uh, you know doing our, our same little skit that we always talk about, you know, baseball and how much we love it. And, uh, you know, this, just everything, you know, I, I, me and Riz, you know, we have a good relationship. He was another guy who helped take me under the wing there when I was uh, first coming up in the big leagues. So um, love him and, uh, you know, really appreciate him and all the other guys out there too. Dave Cohen. Hey, hey, Kyle. Good to see you. Um, I'm sorry, I, I kind of hopped on late, so forgive me if you've already been asked this, but 
I saw this online. It, it, did Chris Bryant leave you some candy there in left field at, at some point? Yeah, he did. He sure did. Yeah. Um, definitely ate a Twix out there on the field and led to a, <laughs> led to a hit. So I might have to eat a Twix tomorrow. But, uh, you know, <laughs> it was really pretty good. I looked at him like, you crazy, man. But, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a funny gesture. And uh, actually, uh, he texted me after the game and uh, sent him a little shot back. So uh, it was a funny little gesture there. And, uh, you know, it's just, you know, like I said, we formed bonds, uh, you know, from, from what we did and just being able to play with each other for, for so long. And, um, you know, gave me a good little, uh, gave me a good little jab there. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. Yeah. Mark Zuckerman, MassInSports.com. You said they got a hit. Was that be, that before the home run? Yeah, yeah. It was before the home <laughs> run. So, uh, you know, maybe that calmed my nerves down. You know, maybe the Twix calmed my nerves down or something like that, I guess. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Uh, anything else, guys? Tom Maria Torres, The Athletic. Kyle, just really quick. Um, you kind of hinted at this, and I'm curious. Did you kind of think – that you had that you came in here kind of trying to prove something um you know i mean the the end result of how you know i was obviously uh departed from the cubs you know wasn't ideal uh you know obviously you want to go out there and you want to finish your tenure with your team and uh you know go on move on from there whatever happens happens but uh you know what it was uh it was nice, it, you know, it, it's not a, uh, a hate thing or anything like that. You know, it's more of just going out there and, and uh, you know, proving something to yourself. Thank you. Yeah.